My name is Lali. I am 30 years old and working at a small factory that has been in business since my grandparents' generation. It is not a popular job among women, to be honest, and there is nothing much attractive about myself. So ever since I started this job, I have heard given up getting a girlfriend since it seemed quite difficult. However, after dinner, my friend took me a month ago. I had a fateful encounter. Her name was Honey. It is a rare name, but I think it suited her perfectly. Ever since we met at the dinner, she has asked me out several times. I was at a loss because I had never dated a woman, but I came to like her more and more. Honey is cuter than any girl I have ever met, and she likes me. I wanted to treasure a girl like her. Hey, Lolly. Yes, honey, what's up? Well, I love you. Where is it? All of a sudden, I feel embarrassed. Just because I wanted to tell you. Oh, that was so random. You say such things off the wall. Plus, you are a little goofy. Oh, that's not nice. I know I am, though. Hey, do you love me? Of course, I love you. Yes, we have mutual love. Oh, your company is somewhere around here, right? I would love to see where you work. It's the company that my future husband is working at, you know. You could, but I don't think it's that interesting. That's okay. I just want to see my future husband's company, so please. Well, okay. There's no way I can say no if ask me so cutely. Since Honey was talking in such a sweet tone, it was too cute not to respond to her request. Just as she said, the factory I was working at was pretty close, so I decided to take her there. This is the factory I work at. Like I said, it's not that interesting, right? I see! You work here! What's the matter, Honey? Nothing. It wasn't what I had imagined. Hey, did something happen? You are acting differently from usual. Did I say something to hurt you? Nothing. You seem a little down. I'm getting worried. I simply thought you were richer. Huh? Because at the dinner, your friend said you were a future president taking over your parents' company. Oh, that's true, but... It wasn't like a company that would have a great president, you know. It was only a small factory and I felt it was a waste to expect so much. Wait a minute, what do you mean? I mean, I wanted to date a rich guy. The time I spent with you was all a waste. No way, you asked me to date you. I thought you would be a president of a much bigger company. I never imagined it was such a small company, so I quit being your girlfriend. She usually talked in a calm tone, but it was different this time. She blamed me in a quick and strong tone, and after saying her final breakup words, she just left, ignoring me, trying to stop her. It was only for two weeks that I dated Honey. I might have been jumped by her, but the shock I got from losing my first girlfriend was tremendous. Since then, I did nothing but devoted myself to working. My parents were worried about me being like that. I worked at the factory during the day, and I worked on the computer until I went to bed. I worked and worked, trying to cover the shock I got from being dumb. Then one day, I got a message all of a sudden. It was Salah who sent me the message. She lives in our neighborhood and our family has been close. She is my childhood friend. We've always gone to school together and she is the only woman I can talk to without being embarrassed. Hey Lali, what is going on? Your mom, Michelle, contacted me and she said you have been acting strange. Actually, I got my heart broken. I got dumped by a girlfriend saying she was dating me because I was the future president of the company and she didn't want me if I wasn't making much money. She was such a sweet girl in the beginning. Why is it, honey? It's so 
that her name? Or is that how you called her? Yeah, that's actually her name. Strange, huh? Is she? Do you know her, Salah? Well, it might be a different person, though. The person who had an engagement party at the restaurant I work at had the same name, if I remember correctly. I recall that name because it was rare. Engagement? No way. It's only been two weeks since we broke up. That's right. It's probably my misunderstanding. Hey, was the lady named Honey seem really airheaded? Yeah, she was kind of strange rather than airheaded. What was her partner like? I think he was like the next president of a big company. Oh, I see. That's what I thought. So, after all, the person named Honey was... Yeah, probably. Well, there is no chance of me winning. If he was the successor of a big company, we are only a small factory after all, and there is nothing attractive about me. I will completely forget about Honey. Don't say there is nothing attractive about yourself. I have respect for you. It's hard work. But you never complain, you deport yourself to working hard. I'm not sure how to react if you compliment me so much all of a sudden, but thank you. After exchanging messages with Salar, I got completely over her. And starting from the next day, I deported myself to working with a fresh mind. Up until then, I had worked hard to the point where it was too much. But now, it wasn't that I recklessly worked. Instead, I thought about how I could make this small factory bigger and how I could be successful with my side work I did at night. I did some research and did my work carefully while thinking about those things. Then one day, I successfully developed a new technology. A TV show wanted to cover my story. Hello! My name is Helen, and I am the TV anchor. Believe it or not, I heard there is technology born in this small town factory. There is attracting global attention. Now, let's talk to the developer, Lolly. How did you come up with such technology? I haven't done anything special. I faced the product basically and thought about how I could make them better and we made improvements after improvements which led to this development. It is nothing but the result of your hard work. I heard this innovative technology gained attention from all over the world and you also got a patent. Is it true that you get contact from other companies asking for a license to use the patent? That's right, I am really thankful. This small factory is about to explode. Once this is used on site, it will probably gain more attention. We look forward to more new technologies developed in the future. There were many people who watched the coverage and came over to the factory, and the phone kept ringing. I was overwhelmed with answering all of them, but I also had to do their on-site job. I was thinking I should have hired an administrative assistant. It happened then. Rally, I'm here to support you. What, Salah? What are you doing here? I heard from Michelle that you need more people, right? I used to work as an administrative assistant before I worked at the restaurant. I heard about the main parts of the job, so leave it up to me. Is it okay? Can I really rely on you? Of course. I have been thinking that it would be great to be of help to you. And I heard Michelle teach me the work at the factory. Have you? No, you do the work only you can do. There is no time to relax now. Right? Yeah, right. Thank you so much. Thanks to Salah taking over all the administrative work, the job started going amazingly smoothly. The fact that she had Michelle teach her the job was actually quite serious. And no matter what kind of things I talk to her about the job, she gives me an answer I was seeking. 
all the employees and I have been at the lost because it has been busier than ever, but we overcame it all thanks to Salah's advice and detailed support. Salah helped my work to the point where she decided to quit her job at the restaurant. I got a partner who would go that far to support me. One day after we finished work, while Salah and I stayed late, and were talking about the work at the factory, someone happened to come in. Lolly, it's been a long time. Honey, wow, don't grab onto me. Don't be shy, I'm so glad to see you for the first time in a long time. I'm sorry for what I did back then. I was just shocked that the factory was so filthy. That's just a lie. You simply came here because we're covered on TV, right? Hey, Lolly. Who is this woman? This is Salah and she is working here as an administrative assistant. Huh? You don't have to hire such a person. I will do the work for you starting tomorrow. Huh? You know what I mean, right? I will be your wife and support this factory with you. No, Salah is doing a great job and I don't need anybody else. So I said I would do it instead of that woman. No, 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 it's not that easy of a job. It will be okay. I have love that she doesn't have. You cannot perform well at work with love. Be quiet, ugly girl. Hey, Lolly. I was cheated by a bad guy. The guy I got engaged to told me that he was the son of a president at a big company, but he was only a successor of a small company. I was very hurt. You are the only one for me after all. You told me honestly about your factory and I realized you were a lot more sincere than the other guy. So I will love you for the rest of my life. I swear. That means you were trying to get married to a rich guy, but he wasn't what you were expecting, and you thought about getting married to Lolly, who seemed to have more money. Huh? That's not true. Don't get in between us. You're outsider. Do you realize how much Lolly was hurt because of you? It was hurt to watch him right after you broke up. Sala, thank you, it's okay. Honey, I cannot date you. I like Sala. Huh? Are you going to choose the ugly woman over me? I'm sure she is also after your asset. No, she is not. She helped me out when I was having the hardest time. I want Salah, who came to help where I needed it the most. Oh, but I appreciate you also because you dumped me. I was able to work hard. The income this year is about to reach one million dollars. It will be twice as much as last year. Huh? Twice as much as last year? Do you mean you made $500,000 last year? How could you? How did you make that much money? I am doing forex trading, and after I was dumped, I studied foreign exchange while sacrificing my sleep. I came to be able to earn more than before. Then if we hadn't broken up, then... It was better that you broke up with me before I told you about this. I was spared from being duped by your lies. Wait a minute, hey, it's not too late. Such a beautiful woman is offering to marry you. You know, let's get married and have a happy married life. The person I want to get married to is not you, it's Sala. Oh, that's it. I will not be here when you regret this. I'm sorry, I had to tell you this in the midst of this chaos. Will you marry me? Yes. I will be glad to. I heard Honey studied forex trading because she was inspired by me, but she lost so much in no time and got herself in debt. I guess she is trying to get back up by getting married to a rich guy. On the other hand, I am doing well at the factory and with forex. That's not all. I got married to Salah, who understands my job as well as myself more than anybody and supports me. I am spending a happy life filled with love.